company is Charlie French Cricket and what's known as a pod shaver, a null name given to the bat maker. I'm based in a workshop in Mansfield Woodhouse. I was a methane drainage officer with British Coal at the Cresswell Colliery, having worked at a few others. In 1992, this was one of the mines that was closed. I could have gone to another, but chose to take my redundancy and make cricket bats. The two most important parts of making a bat are choice of willow and pressing. Most bat makers have a press set and each piece of wood, no matter what the properties are, will be pressed the same. I start by having next to nothing pressure and build it up, bit by bit, checking with a bat mallet until I get the optimum need for this particular bat. I think that the only piece of machinery that was purely for the cricket bat is the press, which is probably the most important part that we use. The one thing between myself and others is that I treat every cleft as a one-off, which it is. Each piece of wood is different and I push myself to get the best out of it. I occasionally get asked about copying a bat, but this is impossible. I ask my customers to look for suitable balance as opposed to a pure copy. My mentor, Bernie Facer, set me going and I spent two full weekends with him. He also answered any questions wherever I was. It was a great help for me and still is. Hey everyone, I want to show you another one of my bats. This is a Charlie French. A Charlie French broadside. So this one's not new, it's actually a gift. Recently I knocked a triple X in that you would have seen and I've posted that off to the owner who basically decided, well, as thank you, he'd send me this wonderful bat as well as two others to review. The Chase, which I've already posted, and there's another one coming. But this one is an absolute stunner. I've always been told that Charlie French bats, CF, are something to behold, and uh, if I could get my hands on one, uh, then I should definitely review it. So that's what I'm doing. Not only that, I'm going to keep it. So what we've got here is the broad side. So the broad side, I chuckle because he actually names all of his bats after guitars, except this one was named after his favourite beer. The broad side is basically a mid, middle bat. You can see there a peak spine it goes all the way down into the handle, which is a thick, almost rectangular, squarish handle at the, at the base and round at the top. I've changed the grip that was originally on it. But yeah, look at the grains on it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 grains. Dead straight, dead straight through the toe and dead straight through the back of the bat. Absolutely stunning looking bat. What it actually pings like. So it's starting to go in a low, mid-low, Really nice there, mid, mid high, and high. So it's going high, mid high, mid, mid low, and it's just basically going right across the hole. Right there, it's an absolute cannon. Uh, this bat was actually used before I got it. I don't think it's seen a lot of uh, nets, maybe one or two, but you can see here the texturing on one of the five stars has come off. And we've also got points that you can see some wear in the stickers. I have given it a good polish. The stickers on the back have actually split down here. And up here, that's not unusual for some stickers, they tend to split. And the original Charlie French sticker that was down the bottom wasn't there, so I've just put my own sticker down. I've actually made contact with Charlie over Facebook and asked him a little bit about the bat. I had been told that Charlie makes his own handles. So I contacted him and, and uh, I actually took the, the handle already came strapped, so I took the, the strapping off took a photo of it and sent it to him and he's confirmed that this is actually one of his own uh, handmade handles that he's made himself. The bat says that it's supposed to be 210 and a half so we've given it a little bit of a refurb and I don't know exactly how old it is. I'm assuming we're looking at a bat that's maybe uh, a couple of years old 
Uh, I don't think the broadside's that old a, a model. So now the broadside actually comes from a 40 mil to a 50 mil edge, depending on the, the weight you buy. And this one's about 40 mil. So I'll just weigh this now. So she's 210 dressed. And that's with a new scuff sheet. Now the scuff that was on there only came down to here, but I've taken it all the way down. It says between 40 and 50 mil edges. So that's been rounded a bit. But they're 38 at the moment. I'm not too fussed about that. And the spine, it's a 65 mil. So it just makes the gauge width wise. There's a tiny little bit of room left on the spine. You can see some concaving there. Approximately three mil of concaving. And the actual face uh, camber, it looks to be a little bit flatter than a five mil. But we've got to take into account that I've actually given it a bit of a sanding on both sides, uh, particularly to get that um, imprint of the sticker off. And it had a few dents in that and I just wanted to take those out. So yeah, it's a really lovely bat. So thanks very much to Joshua over in England. And we'll turn the camera around, we'll bounce the ball. So we'll start off with the old four piece. Right in that mid low it's really going. And mid. When you hit that sweet spot right there, it absolutely flies off that. So that's the four piece, the really old one, and now we'll try the jukes. Now, obviously, I can't say a lot about the handle uh, performance itself. Charlie French bats actually have a really good reputation over in the UK. Particularly, somebody said definitely look for the ones with the handles that he makes. So I'm really happy to, to have this one. Now as far as balance and pick up, that is beautifully balanced. And it's 210 on the scales. It feels just over 2.9 in my hands. And it's just an absolute stunning piece of timber. So there you go. Forget my sticker. It's a Charlie French broadside, obviously in finest grade one. If you're interested in something different, contact Charlie French. Makes a great bat.